In this example, we consider another collision problem between two objects. And in this particular case, we have a four kilogram fish. This is the big fish that's swimming at three meters per second. It's traveling to the right and it swallows an absent-minded one kilogram fish that's swimming towards it at a velocity that brings both fish to a halt after the collision. So their final momentum after the collision is zero. And we want to determine what is the initial speed of this smaller fish um, before it became lunch. So basically, we have a situation where these two objects collide with one another, and the little fish is traveling fast enough so that after the collision, it has enough momentum to cancel out the momentum of the big fish. So let's see how this works. So what's given to us would be the mass of the big fish, which is four. We also know the mass of the little fish, which is one. We know that the big fish is swimming along to the right with an initial velocity of three meters per second. And what we want to know is how fast does the little fish have to be swimming initially so that after the two collide and stick together, they come to rest so that the final velocity of the big fish and the little fish are both equal to zero after the collision. So we know that momentum is conserved, and that means that the total momentum initially has to equal the total momentum final. The total momentum initial is the momentum of the big fish plus the momentum of the little fish initially, and that's going to equal their combined momentum after the collision. So the momentum of the big fish initially would be its mass times its velocity, and the momentum of the little fish would be its mass times its velocity. And then after the collision, it would be the total mass of both fish added together times their velocity. Big fish has a mass of four kilograms and a velocity of three meters per second. The little fish has a mass of one kilogram and an initial velocity that we don't know yet. And then after the collision, the two stick together. So we would add their masses together, four plus one, but afterwards they come to rest, so their velocity is zero. So if I figure out the initial momentum of the big fish, four times three is 12. The initial momentum of the little fish would be one times whatever the velocity is, and that has to equal zero because they come to rest after the collision. So if I take and I rearrange this equation, I have 12 kilograms meters per second. I have one times the final velocity. I can subtract that from both sides of the equation or essentially move it to the other side of the equation. The one here is essentially just a one. So one times the velocity is still just the velocity. And so now I can solve for what that initial velocity of the little fish has to be, and the value is a negative 12 meters per second. Now my numbers came out this way because I used simple numbers and I used one for the, the mass of the, of the little fish. Now the negative sign here is just telling you that the little fish is traveling to the left and we would expect them to have opposite velocities. Now the question actually asked for the speed of the little fish and so its speed is just the magnitude of the velocity which would be 12 meters per second.